thank you very much, uh, Laska Hearlock. Uh, Minister, as I get up now, I'm, I'm the last uh, Senator to speak in this debate that's been going on for the last hour and a half. And I have to start off by commending Senator Warfield and commending Senators Keoghan and Crockwell. Out of 19 opposition Senators, three have turned up. Now, if this debate was as bad as Senator Warfield would have you believe, if it was as terrible as he would have you believe, I guarantee you that all 18 would be in here shouting and screaming for their two-minute social media clip. I guarantee you, but they're not. Now, perhaps there will be a flood in the next few minutes before I finish on my feet, and they will come in and make their points be known. Perhaps there will be a flood of opposition senators, Minister, and no disrespect to you, perhaps there will be for the next minister coming after. Perhaps they're in their offices as we speak, honing the important points that they're going to make against this budget. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. But I think the fact that three, and again, I commend Senator Warfield, Keoghan and Crockwell for bothering to show up to the Senate today on the day of the budget to discuss the budget. Uh, I commend them for turning up and doing so. It's a pity their 16 other colleagues didn't do the same. So let's just discuss the differences between it. And home ownership is a very important thing. I'm 32 years of age. All of my friends are either in the process of buying homes, trying to buy homes, or saving money to buy homes. And it is tough. No one is saying it's not tough. But I look around my town of Dundalk, where I'm from, where I've grown up, a town that I love, and I see houses being built left, right, and center. I talk to estate agents who are telling me that they have had more first-time buyers than ever before. And this is not anecdotal. This is not me coming in here and exaggerating or making something up. This is borne out here in the results. 400 people are buying their first homes every single week in this country. 30,500 new homes have been built since this day last year when we all spoke about budget 2023. We look again where we have 11,630 new social homes of which 9,300 are already in construction. They are the facts in black and white. Nothing else is. And you can see it in your own eyes if you walk out and you look around at the construction that is being built here in this country. Now, when we look at Sinn Féin and what Sinn Féin want to do, and Minister, I listened to you on RT this morning, so I'm actually <coughs> paraphrasing what you said yourself when it comes to it. One of the key things that they want to do is completely get rid of this Craig Conaghan vacant grant scheme. Abolish it. I have a constituency office that is open from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. We deal with so many people in Dundalk and County Louth. I have at least assisted on 10 to 15 schemes of that very scheme itself with first-time buyers. People who are coming and taking vacant houses off the market, breathing life and love into them and getting them back up into handle status. If I'm lucky enough in the next six months, Minister, it is definitely something that I personally will be applying to Louth County Council for, because it is exactly the type of grant that we need. Sinn Féin, abolish it. The other thing, as you said yourself on RT earlier today, Minister, there is no space in this Sinn Féin alternative budget for people like me or my generation who want to buy their own home. Home ownership is a dirty word as far as that party are concerned. Imagine the goal of wanting to work hard in life, wanting to try and save money together to buy a house on affordable income. Imagine that. What is so wrong with that? Well, they are exactly the type of people that would be the first people on the guillotine if Sinn Féin were ever to get into power in this house. And again, the facts are borne out by it here. This is here in black and white. Abolishing the help to buy scheme makes it harder for people to get a deposit to buy a house. It helped 42,000 first-time buyers last year in this country. But no, Sinn Féin want to abolish it. Doubling stamp duty from 1% to 2% on all home purchases between 70,000 and 1 million is just another increase on, somebody, uh, on the tax of somebody buying a home. And as I said, abolishing the first home scheme makes it more expensive because you're reducing the state help with an equity share. And again, that has helped over 600 families, and there's currently 2,500 applications approved. I'm not in here talking about generics. I'm not in here talking about hyperbole or what, people, or what the man on the street said to me. I'm speaking a cold, hard budgetary fact. Uh, and I think other people do. And perhaps the other 16 uh, opposition senators will bother turning it up for the rest of the debates. And let's hear some of their facts.